The Zero mobile app's really um, useful to get things done on the go, um, while you're at customer sites, while you're on the train potentially, um, sitting there doing nothing. Um, so let's take a look and see what you can do with it. So we're using the demo company here. And what you can see is you initially come on to a dashboard, which is similar to the dashboard on the browser version. So you've got your bank accounts, you've got your sales and your purchases, you've got your profit and you've got your total cash in and out. So let's start with the bank accounts and you can do all your reconciliation on here, just like you do on the, the web browser. You click into it and you can see all your transactions. And what you can do, see is that where there's picking up a bank rule, it's giving you the match so you can just okay that and again there um it'll also give you your invoice matches so you've got one there it will give you your purchase matches to your bills or your invoice uh, purchase invoices you can do your transfers so you can just transfer that to the other account. That's done. And when you find one that is um, like paying for two invoices and you need to match them, you can just match them as well. So you just go to find and you can search. So if you want smart. And we've got the two bills there. So we select them both. As you can see, that now matches up and you can match that one away. So it's really easy to do. Then if you've got one where you need to um, pay for it, I'm just gonna go back. There was a, where's it gone? They go parking. So you've got one here that you know it's parking. You've not uploaded the receipt, um, but you can create it. So you click on create. You put in it was for parking. You need to categorize the account, so travel. Then you just need to check the VAT. So if you've physically got the receipt and there definitely is VAT on it, you can leave it as it is. Um, and I'd also recommend here you can take a picture of it and upload it so you've got it. You can just do a touch file and either take a photo, or if you've already taken a picture and it's in your um, library then you can do choose photo and attach it if you haven't got the receipt you definitely cannot claim the VAT back so you can just change that to no VAT and then click save and that's done and if you've got the receipt it's say attached it to it as well so you can just go through and complete this for all of your transactions and clear them all down as I said before, you've got a sales and purchase overview here, but you've also got the little icons at the bottom. So you can go to sales and see your invoices. And then you can also create new invoice and new quotes by clicking the little plus icon. And this is really good. So say you are in a construction trade and you've gone around to somebody um, to have a look at a job and you want to create a quote, you can do it there and then quickly on your phone. And that means you can make sure they've got the quote in writing before you even leave. And potentially they can then accept it and you can book the work in. And it just means that I know you can give a verbal quote, but it just means that you're doing it there and then and speeding the process up and becoming more efficient. What you could also do is once you've then create, finished the work, you can create the invoice on the go as well and make sure they've got it before you even leave, which is really handy so let's just do one so you can change your due dates and everything um and then you'll need to uh, oh sorry and it will automatically add in the next invoice number just like on the web browser so you add an item so we're gonna do um and then you can check the sales code obviously if you're fat registered it'll come up as the 20 percent so quantity one price done 
and there you go the invoice is more or less done and ready to go so what you can do if you've got like a job sheet that they've signed off or you want to take pictures to show that the job's finished or something you can attach files from here as well which is really helpful um, and then once you're done you just press save oops i've saved that as a draft there you go so you can save it as a draft or you can then approve it and send it um, and you can change the words in the email template and everything as well so send that and then this is really handy because what you can do is you can make sure <laughs> that you are giving your customer the invoice before you even leave the door you can make sure that they've got it in their inbox and you can make sure they're happy and know how to make a payment if you've got payment services on there they can click the link then to make the payment and potentially even do that before you even leave the premises as well so it's a really good way of a not forgetting to do it and b speeding up that process and making sure they've got it because if you know they've already got it they can't turn around in a week or so and say oh, i've never received that invoice you know they've got it because you saw and you was there um, so yeah, love that feature. Um, and then you've got your purchases and you can do pretty much the same sort of thing here as well with your bills. So you can add a bill or a receipt. You can upload a picture and it's all there ready and you're waiting payment ready to um, ready to reconcile when it goes through the bank or when you need to make that payment. Um, and you've got all your other bits there as well. So you can see all your awaiting invoices, awaiting payments and everything as well. So it's all there ready to see, which is really handy. And then you've got your contacts. So you can easily add a new contact on the go. Um, pop all their details in and save them. You can easily change one. And one thing I love with this as well is if you pop the address in, you can then click on the hyperlink address and you can get a map of where they are, which is really handy. Um, you can also, wherever it's blue and hyperlinked, it'll take you straight to do a new message. Or obviously you'll try to read that, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> so that's all the contacts and everything. You've then got this profit the month which is a really cool little gadget and it will take in all your income and your total spend in to date you can do quarter to date and year to date as well so that's a really handy little thing to check your profit on the go as well um so yeah so that is the demo company you can also uh, the demo company the zero app this is the ios version um i don't have an android phone so i've only been able to do the ios version you've also got up here the little shortcut so you can do many of things from the home screen as well so yeah that's the mobile app